Hey, how's it going? It's John again. I'm going to play grid number 44, going back and playing the old ones. I like 44 because it was Henry Aaron's number, and that's uh, uh, also the number of home runs he hit four times. Number 44 hit 44 home runs four times um, between the Milwaukee and Atlanta Braves. So I, I think that's a fun fact. Um, I'm a big Henry Aaron fan. I've got at least a couple pictures of I've got a uh, a thing over here it's out of view it's actually like right behind that monitor but it's it shows um all the baseball cards from his rookie year to his final year with the Brewers um it was uh in the Washington Post I think uh the week after he died or something back in 2021 um, my aunt had sent it to me so it's uh, uh it's a, it, it complements my baseball card collection nicely and of course Henry Aaron's an all-time great so in honor of Henry Aaron, let's play grid number 44. Sharing the old screen. And hit and play. Hit and go. Same. No, that's different. All right. Uh, let's go. Delano of Shields. I don't know why that came first, but he's going. Bobby Bonilla. Give me Dwight Evans. Hits both these teams. All right, let's see here. Ozzy Smith won quite a few gold gloves. Clemente, that's a repeat from just the previous grid. Uh, let's see. Uh, Pujols was a rookie of the year. Oh, this is a singularity because Bay was the only Pirates rookie of the year winner. So not going to get uh, too low a score on that one. And then need a gold glove winner. Uh, Betts. Bam, 300 almost. 50, whatever that was, 52 seconds or so. Let's see. I had the, yeah, that was a singularity. So I had the highest one. I guess Pedroia was higher than Garcia Parra. Bay is obviously 100%. So one, two, three, four, five. The f five of the highest ones. Um, 20% from it. He didn't play for the Orioles for very long. But he is paid out by them. The same, it, it it's a little less famous. But the same day he gets paid out by the Mets, he also gets paid out by the Orioles. It's like half a million from the Orioles. But anyway, Atlanta Shields in there at 0.5%. I don't know if I'm going to beat that. I might have might have just gone with uh, that. Might have might have been a little too low. That's all right. We'll stop sharing and we'll reshare and we'll find the other grid. And we'll not hit refresh because I wouldn't do anything. Probably would have been easier to do in the search bar. Ah, well, I like taking the scenic route through my past failures. <laughs> All right. Let's see here. So Rogers Hornsby works. Um, Will Clark will work. He was traded from the Orioles to the Cardinals in the last season of his career. Um... See, down here, I'm going to go with Carl Reynolds down here. And let's go with uh, Pearsall. Jim Pearsall. That looks like the right years. And for rookie of the year, let's go Walt Droppo. And now I'm not going to enter some Pirates rookie from this year in the hopes that they win rookie of the year and then I can come back to the grid. And have it be right. I guess I'll just go with Jason Bay again. It's amazing. Like in the whole, in the first, what, 75 or so years of the, uh, of the rookie of the year that the Pirates have won one. It just seems, I mean, they've been good teams. It's not like the Pirates have always been sort of the Pirates they are now or the Pirates they were in the, 90s and 2000s i mean there are pirates teams that have um you know they've won multiple world championships in that time and done quite well but for whatever reason yeah, only one rookie of the year and it was jason bay i might be wrong in the year actually yeah, i'm wrong it's not 2006 it's uh he started the all-star game in 2006 but i think it was like oh four i think it was before that that he was rookie of the year it would have had to be because he was in boston by like oh eight Oh wait, or not? I think he was a, a free agent signing in 2010 by the Mets. So that would be what? Oh, 
Oh four probably was I think oh four was the rookie year. Anyway. Uh Bobby Chance works for both of these. So that's not cut and dry. I'm gonna go with Wally Moon over here. He actually beat out Henry Aaron for rookie of the air. And now for the fun one. Can I find anyone from my head who will be lower? I mean, hopefully lower than Bobby Moon. Yeah, good lord, but um let's see. I don't know if this is that's this might be a Dotel combo. I'm not sure about I don't know if Dotel will play for the Orioles. Uh let's see. Huh, this one's uh this one's kind of stomping me just to come up with any other name. I'm sure there's someone will come to mind. Uh let's look at the gold gloves. So um Bobby Chance will work for both. So the question is, where else? And I think the answer is, I go with another person I just played, which is Big Rick Ruchel, who also won a gold glove with the Pirates. And then I'll go with, I like that extra digit. It's not 0.1, it's 0.10. So you, you have some precision with uh, with knowing where you're at. Because 0.1 just means like could be 0.11 or 0.14, as long as it rounds. Anyway, I'll, I'll go Chance here. That's that's the move. He gets point two, so point five from Gold Glovers, hundred and four from Rookies of the Year. Um, and I came up with Hornsby. Oh, uh, I got a guy, Jack Howell. Played with both these teams. Point one. He also works for two hundred wins. Um, and now this one is is kind of stumping me. Of course, Bonilla took 20%. He was barely an Oriole. Why don't we try Derek Lee? See how he does. He goes sub one at least. So rarity score of 106 with a six coming from the other eight, which is pretty good. Jason Bay taking the day. Only 38% of people got that. I think uh, this came up before and I didn't get it. I didn't remember Jason Bay on one of the earlier grids. So cool. Well, now I want to play again. I'll play one more. <laughs> I, you know, what is it? It's like eight o'clock. Baby's asleep. I can play one more, but not on this video. Anyway, thanks a lot for playing. I'll, uh, I'll get the other video upload. I just, I, you know, I want to see another low rarity score and 106 just isn't there. Even if I did about as good as I could do. Anyway, thanks a lot for watching these old ones. And uh, uh, come back to see uh, Grid 45 here. I don't have, I guess that's Bob Gibson's number. So think of, I don't know if, I'm not thinking of anyone else who's 45. Bob Gibson was 45 though. Anyway, see you in a bit. Peace.